This is Sandy, and I just wanted to share with you. I just uploaded a video on Mandela Dots Practice on Glass video, and I'm really excited about it. And I shared how you could do a rubber stamper on, you can use the clear rubber, but you can use that on a canvas also. So, I wanted to show you how to stamp on a canvas if you wanted to try this. It's really easy, but in order to get it good, you need a flat, solid surface because a canvas is kind of stretchy. So when you go to do your stamp, it's not going to come out very well. I'm using a paver brick. It's solid and it's smooth and I just lay my canvas over, over where it's going to be stamped. So you feel, yep, it's right there. So I would put the ink on here and come in to the center of that circle that I have created and I would give a good, good push pressure on that and that's how you get your stamp where it's uniform it's nicely done and then you just take a fine line paintbrush and add color once that ink dries to give it a little pop make it stand out a little bit better so in order to do this you can use the Nestabilities by Spellbinders, or this neat tool that I picked up at a garage sale, which I'm going to learn how to use, that would give you a perfect circle without any problem. You should just find your center dot and use that to create your circle. Um, Nestabilities is good, but it takes a little bit more work because you've got to measure to find where your center is for that large circle. But you can use a 2x4, a 4x4, four four, any solid piece that would fit under where you want to stamp would work beautifully. So you have a wonderful day and thank you so much. I really appreciate you watch it and taking your time out of your day. Thank you. Bye.